Nice and spicy. Cauliflower ricey. Hello and welcome to Get Gardening. I'm Alan Gray, I really am, and you, you are... Vanessa Scott. She got it right. <laughs> <laughs> so this, we could show you this, but it'd be a very noisy process. This is simply cauliflower that's been chopped up into bits and then put in a food processor. And Simple blitzed. as that. Very old Well, do you know trend. what it reminds me? Uh, looking at your hand there, it reminds me as if you've got desiccated coconut. It does. So if you think you don't know quite how far to go, go as far as desiccated coconut, because yeah. I think everybody knows what that's like. Yeah, mm. absolutely. So just browning the sausages on a high temperature. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll pop them in the oven, and then you could fry I can. the yeah. spring onions and the chilli. And obviously, alter the chilli. I've put one chopped chilli in here for one cauliflower, but really alter it for taste because yeah. you can end up with it being... Hot, hot, hot. Yes, mm. very hot. Now, what have we got here? So, in there we've got very sort of typical curry-type flavourings, um, but without the chilli because obviously it's there, because chilli powder is in curry. So, we've got turmeric cumin and I've just ground some coriander seeds there and left them fairly rough because it's quite nice to get that crunch when you're eating. The other thing I'm just wondering is if you can't get, um, I mean not everybody has access to fresh chilies, um, if they can't get um, fresh chilies they could use a pinch of chilli powder. They could or what about this chap? This is um, a local Norfolk. <laughs> well, I'm laughing. Bre <laughs> they live across the field from me. Oh, do they really? Yeah, yeah the people that do crust, they live across the field oh, from okay. me at East Ruston. Well, this is called feisty chilli oil. And so, boy, it is feisty. It is feisty, it yeah. It is feisty. But it's great, it, like you say, if you didn't have a chilli, because not everyone's going to have one in the fridge, use something like this or a pinch of chilli powder. And or you flakes, get, even. Yeah, flakes chili are flakes. very good. We've also got a lovely piece here of um, a ginger root. Now, there is nothing quite like fresh ginger. Um, I would advise everybody to have a piece of fresh ginger in the in fridge. In the fridge. I mean, it's a really good drink. Yeah. Um, you know, infuse it in hot water maybe. If you want some sweetness, add a bit of honey. But it's a really good sort of good thing to it's drink. It's a wonderful ingredient and it does last very well in the fridge. And if it gets to the stage where it gets wizened, why don't you plant it in some compost and you'll get some lovely it's kind of paddle-shaped leaves. You won't get an awful lot more than that. But it's interesting to have it on the windowsill and people will come and say, what's that? And you say, a piece of old ginger. <laughs> 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 and as well as that, we've got a bunch of um, lovely fresh coriander here. Yeah. And to me, that oh, the fragrance from fresh coriander is absolutely lovely. I love it, and it's very sort of synonymous to use it with those very typical sort of um, the chili and the oriental yeah. spices. Yeah. But it also, again, you see, this is something that people can have very easily. All they need to do is buy a packet of seeds, and so probably a punch, a pinch, or a punch. Nipping or tuck. <laughs> so a pinch, once a fortnight, so that you've got a, a crop coming on because it does tend to run to seed very quickly. And you want it when you've got these lovely leaves on it like this. Um, so keep sowing a pot once a fortnight and you'll have your own fresh coriander. Now, so what you could serve up with this is mango chutney. Yep. But again, going towards what's available locally, Candy um, Robertson creates these wonderful chutneys and... Um, this one is a sweet corn with chilli, so I thought that would be lovely to serve that on the side. So here we have frying pan, the oil that the sausages was cooked in, and we're going to put the chilli and the spring onions in that. And just give it a little stir. And then I'll swap you, Alan. You can okay, have the thank you very much. Flavours. And the flavouring goes in now. Coriander, ground coriander, turmeric. What was the other one? Cumin. Yeah, and then we're just going to add some grated ginger, which I'm managing to throw all over the stove. When you're cooking things like this, <laughs> be careful you don't burn your face, but just put your nose over the top. Oh, flavours are incredible. And that's, I mean, that's a, an ideal way, I think, for training your taste buds as well. 
uh, of which the nose, I think, plays an awful, awfully important part. So we're going to put, because we don't want to over um, cook those spring onions, a bit more oil. And then, Alan, I'm going to add the cauliflower rice and so get you to the... just coat. So now I need to do, uh, d just to turn that. Yeah. So that we're coating it with the oil. So once it's coated, we want a couple of tablespoons of water in there just to help the cauliflower cook through. And then that wants to cook for probably five to ten minutes. So that water is just producing a little bit of steam. Just a bit more. And do it by eye, really. Yep. Um, I'm also going to pop a bit of salt in there, Alan. Okay. You to now, distribute. Now, the, the other thing that occurs to me with this is people sometimes, when they're growing their own vegetables at home, and there seems to be a resurgence in lots of people growing vegetables, sometimes you get a glut of things like cauliflowers. Yeah. This is a wonderful thing to do with them because, you know, what else can you do with a cauliflower? Yeah. Cauliflower cheese? Yeah. Well, I think people do get bored with cauliflower, which is such a shame because it's very versatile. I mean, it's nice. You can griddle it. You can... Um, What's very on trend at the moment is cauliflower. Listen, this is the mistress telling you what to do. <laughs> this, it's cauliflower steaks where you actually cut chunks out of the cauliflower with its stalk. Yep. And marinate it in oil and cook it like it was on a griddle pan like it was a piece of meat. Well, there's lovely dark brown marks on it. Yeah, and you can get all sorts of flavours into that because you could use those flavours again. Do you think that's ready? I think it is. So what we're going to do is just pop it off the heat. If we put it on there... And then I'm going to get some peas to pop in there. I think frozen vegetables are maligned, really. Some of the nicest tasting peas are frozen because the companies who do them have the pick of the crop. So we'll pop that in there. And if it goes back on the heat, only literally to sort of bring it back up to temperature. But then we will take it off because the peas are going to cook in the heat of that cauliflower. So that's probably OK, Alan. Right. We can off the heat. Yeah, so now we need and to... Don't forget that it will carry on cooking because it's in, it is in a warm pan um, and we're in a warm kitchen, so it will carry on cooking a bit yet, so don't worry and think that you haven't been cooking it for long enough because you have. So the next thing we've got, we've got some coriander, as you mentioned before. And I'm actually going to take the stalks off. I always think they're such a waste. Well, we're going to actually put the stalks in that with the peas. Well, you see, now, this, this, this is so, so sensible. Yeah, because they're packed with flavour. Yeah, exactly. And it seems ridiculous, like you say. So there's quite a lot there, and I can smell the pungent coriander. Yeah. Are so you going to chop those or not? No, I think we'll just tear those when we serve it. This is a tip of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and applies to any herb that you really want to chop. All you need is a mug, and I just noticed this mug, why I'm laughing is because I just noticed this mug, it says in the top here, we go together like sausage and mash. <laughs> 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 and I think it's absolutely lovely. And so we take a few bits of coriander in this case, but it could be parsley or any other herb you want to chop, some sharp kitchen scissors, and all you do is you go snip, 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 and just keep doing that. And as Vanessa said, she, she wanted it so that it's torn. I haven't chopped it too finely. Oh, the scent, is, the aroma is fabulous. Yeah. Um, is that sufficient? Oh, I think we have a bit more, actually. A bit more. But I, that's a good way to keep it contained because you do end up with it all over yep. the top. And actually, in, if you're not careful, you end up with it ingrained in the chopping board rather than it left. You know, so you're getting the maximum yeah. flavour from it. So that's a good no. tip. If you want to save time, all you do is you do that, put a piece of film over the top, pop it in the fridge, and it will keep for a couple of hours. and be as fresh as a daisy when it comes out. If I give you um, a spoon for the uh, chutney, okay. I'm, I'm going to dollop. Some... I'm sure she's not going to dollop. <laughs> she's culinary... going to artistically <laughs> present. It's a culinary <laughs> term. <laughs> So there we go. Um, with one cauliflower, you've got enough. You can see uh, four generous portions. Exactly. Um, a great supper. And, and this goes really well with something like salmon. Yeah. Great with salmon. Or pork chops. Yeah. yeah. Or lamb chops. And again, like you said, it would also make a good um, 
vegetarian supper. And on come the sausages. So, some lovely chunky butcher's sausages. Um, and I'm just going to add a couple of spoonfuls of this delish, delicious relish. Yeah. Look at that. Nice and spicy. Cauliflower rice. Oh, you're a devil. <laughs> <laughs> Sausages in the pan. Give it a little shake. But not too much. <laughs> this ch chili powder is Yeah. Hello, pussycat. Cat. heard the word sausage, didn't she? <laughs>